Gina here, and I'm back to show you some more details on this new doll that I got from Amazon. And I have named her Mary Beth. And as you can see, she fits very nicely, better than any of the babies, in the rocking chair. So that's where she will mostly sit, and then also some on the bed. And she can watch over the little babies. And she really likes this little doll. And I did go to Goodwill, which is just right across the street from where I work. So I went yesterday after she arrived and I picked out some clothes. Someone online said that she wears anywhere from 12 months to 24 months, depending on the outfits. And so this one is a very soft dress and it is an 18 month size. It fits really, really nice except around the neck it's too wide and too big but it tucks under back here which I could probably pin it if I want um, and her hair hides it so that seems to work out okay these are socks that I already had these um, real ruffly socks and then she came with these little bloomers here so why don't we get her on the changing table and we will compare her with some of the other dolls and talk more about this company. Okay, and here we are on the changing table. And as you can see, Mary Beth is so much bigger than Abby Rose. And I thought Abby Rose was one of my bigger babies and Elizabeth too. But as you can see, what a difference, huh? Very interesting. Very, very interesting. In fact, I kind of have to push the camera out or pull it out, I should say, so you can get a better view of her. You almost still can't see the top of her head. <laughs> Let me turn the camera up. There we go. You gotta at least see the top of her head, huh? <laughs> So, the other clothes I got, this is one, and it's a really sweet little romper. I love the eyelet, and I love the pink ribbon. I think it's very girly. I do hope it fits her, because I forget the size. I think I couldn't find the size when I was at the store. Um, it is, ooh six to nine month so I don't know but there's only one way to find out right <laughs> I hope it fits I really like that one and then I also found this little Oshkosh red top and it's long sleeve very nice I really like the sleeves here and these jeans to go with it now these jeans say too taut but I hope that they fit because the way she's built, which is just like uh, how Abby Rose is built, when you put pants on them, their hips kind of stick out. So the pants have to be wider than you would think. So hopefully, I did go ahead and wash her little sweater that she came with. I do like it, it's fully lined and it has this pink tulle edging here on the sleeve and I think it's really cute. And she looked really good in that one. And I also found this adorable jacket. It's one of those soft quilted padded jackets and it's lined and it has gold buttons. It's an 18 month. So I was kind of trying to figure out by what people had said her size is and try not to overbuy. I figured once I find out, I can always go back and get her some more things. So that'll be a lot of fun trying to find clothes for her. And I did go ahead and get a white onesie and it's an 18 month long sleeve just in case that I needed it. And hopefully that'll fit. That's real stretchy anyway, so that's good. And her shoes she came with are really cute. They're very nice, I like them very soft 
soft leathery. They're probably not leather, but they resemble leather. <laughs> and now these I had in my collection ever since I got Lily Rose. I believe I got them uh, probably on a clearance sale and I kept them all this time because none of my babies can fit in there. But I believe this one, this sweet little girl, she'll be able to wear the sandals. Yeah. So you just never know what you're going to end up using. And like these headbands, these came in a, a pack. Uh, I believe that was at Goodwill, and they're unused. And so I've had these a while, and I've never used them on any of the babies. But... You know, when you have a big toddler doll, then you can try different things. So it, they fit they fit her really nice. Whereas I, I think Abby, it might not fit as good. And her bows are really cute that she came with, and they're just little clip-ons. She did have uh, pigtails right here on each side, but they just had rubber bands, little rubber bands. And her hair was all messed up because of the way she was sent and the way she was packaged so I just cut them off I didn't want to pull out her hair but I do have larger um, bands here like last night when I put this dress on her I put her hair in a ponytail behind her and that way I wouldn't mess up her hair too much when I tried to um, dress her and you know it's just little things that I'm noticing um, that I might have for her like this little bag she could have a bag I probably should get her the Paddington Bear that's probably what I should do and also a necklace I know I have uh, necklaces for the dolls so I'll have to find those and I do have these little ponytail holders too in all different colors that'll be fun Something else that I've never used, and I'm not sure that I even know how to use them. Uh, they're the little sandals that, like this is the headband, but I have the matching sandals. Where you just kind of strap them on the baby's feet. That might be cute. Although she's probably too old for that. Like she couldn't actually walk around in that. So I don't know about that. But let's, um, let's look at Elizabeth, too, and see how much difference there is. And here is Miss Elizabeth. So this is the difference between a 0 to 3 and most likely a 2, probably a 2 tot. <laughs> wow. What a difference. And with her, my husband said, can you uh, carry her on your hip like you do like you do with kids? And I said, sure, I'm sure that'll work. And her legs have joints. And so they were, I was able to put them down and it was really cute. <laughs> Not that I'll probably walk around the house with her like that because she's pretty big, but I, it's nice to know that you can. So it'll be a whole new experience. And she did come with this birth certificate. It's kind of messed up, but um, the company name, which I'm a little confused about, NPK, because her headline on Amazon, the company was called Terabithia. So I'm not sure about that. But here you can put in her name and birthday, name of mom, and all that stuff like that. Yeah, so, and you can also... I was able to move her arms. They kind of make a little bit of a noise. They kind of make a little bit of a noise when you do that. Now her hair, um, every time I, I brush it very lightly, but it does, um, and I might have mentioned this already in my the first part of the video, but it does, um, some of it comes out. So I can get her a new wig and probably do that. I've never done that, but I'm sure I can. Yeah, so it'll be lots of fun playing with her. And she's very, very heavy. 
Uh, she's quite, quite well stuffed. And I think that's why she sits up so nicely. So it's kind of important, I guess. And she has full legs too, very full legs. And her limbs are not weighted, which I could do that too. There's all kinds of things we can do. Yeah. Now let me see, is there anything else I wanted to show you before I call it a night? There's a couple things I got for the little babies. Um, I got these little slippers. They were brand new, still had the packaging, still attached to the packaging. Little rattle slippers. And they are pretty stretchy. They might fit her. But probably I'll use them for the little babies. And these cute little knitted booties. These are for the little babies. And I washed them. And I'll probably take the unicorns off because they kind of, um, kind of got a little bit messed up when I washed them. And I hand washed them, but then I put them in the dryer with all the other clothes last night. So that might have had something to do with it. And let's see. Oh, I know. Hang on just a sec. I also found this uh, crocheted diaper. And it came unbuttoned. It came unbuttoned during the wash, but um, I'll figure it out. There it is. <laughs> it's very cute. Isn't that just adorable? I kind of picture Amelia in this. I think that would be really nice on her. And I saw these little dinosaur pants for girls. They're little teeny tiny, zero to three months. They look smaller than that. Probably newborn, really. But I think I have a little jacket. I've been looking for that color of green to go with this little jacket I have. So that might work out really good. So I hope you all like her, and um, any other details, let me see that I can think of. Uh, I don't believe so, but I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and I will be back soon, and I'll show you what I change her into next, what outfit, and after that, then I can start planning. Oh, I got real excited because I realized I can buy baby tights now and they will be able to fit whereas when you're trying to find little newborn baby tights it's really hard so i was excited about that i saw some on zoo lily so i might get those and so the girls are going to say bye oh and abby abby likes her sister she likes her new sister yeah she thinks she's really cool because she's the older one yeah she's the older one she wants to tell her something Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to go now, and you all have a wonderful evening, and we'll be back soon with another changing. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye. Say bye.